we're working very hard on this strategy to increase revenue and decrease cost. Okay, I, I'm not a financial wizard, but I have to tell you, when you start making more than you spend, you're probably in a better place. So we're encouraging development. We're in the last stages of uh, working on our new area of redevelopment, which is going to be basically from Hudson Mackman School to the State Park. Uh, we had a lot of hoops to jump through with the Highlands Council. We're almost done with that. The Highlands Council is paying for that study. When we get that study done, we'll start doing lot line adjustments. And the thing, uh, the thing it allows to do, and we're working on a project now, the Land Use Board worked last night on a project to bring in a significant housing development. Uh, hopefully we can, we can, we can uh, orchestrate that so it, it starts materializing when we pass the area in redevelopment and we can run a pilot program. Uh, redevelopment is extremely important to revenue in the sense that when we do the pilot program, which is a form of tax abatement, it's a five-year plan. And over five years, you go from zero to 100% of your assessment, which is your payment. It, and so 95% of that town comes to the borough, 5% goes to the county. At the end of five years, the town typically makes two and a half times they would normally have made on regular taxation. So if you follow that math and you follow that strategy, and we get people to come in along Lakeside Boulevard and start developing uh, significantly, uh, then you'll see that revenue start to come up uh, disproportionately more than the cost. So the assumption that nothing new is going to happen is not very accurate. If nothing new happens, then we could be in trouble with holding a flat tax increase. That's not a good assumption. And our job as a governing body and administration is to make sure that we encourage people to invest in our town and make that investment count towards, towards our, our tax revenue uh, and so that, in, in essence, is going to be our strategy. And when the time comes to make some harder decisions, uh, we certainly won't shy away from that. So the point I'm making is uh, everything in, in, that we see today may or may not be static in, in the near future. And so that means you might see significant changes. Uh, there are opportunities where we're paying for stuff now that we're going to look into uh, and maybe cut that cost in half or more. Uh, and, and when we're doing that, uh, when we avoid cost, we might be able to even cut that expense. So uh, it's too early to be too specific. And I don't mean to be not specific, but I, I can't see stuff that we're still, uh, that we're still looking into on, on different ways to do things at a lower cost and still supply the same effective service. That's a challenge, and we have to use our intellect. And, I'm, and what gives me so much confidence is the people that we have working for the borough, our administrator, our CFO, uh, our tax offices, and our council. And so we have these opportunities. I'm, I'm, we're very, very aggressive on uh, doing grants. Uh, you know, you'll see some paving this year with significant numbers. We just, uh, we're just doing paperwork now to do more paving in 2022. So, you know, we're thinking a couple of one, two, three years ahead that we really can't advertise a lot of that yet, but I can tell you that it's not doom and gloom for me. We, we have to be up to the challenge and, and challenges change. Change frightens people. I understand that. But sometimes if we want to our town affordable, we have to have that change and, and it's going to be uncomfortable. We're going to be out of people's comfort zones. I can tell you that right now, but it's going to be for the benefit of our town and, 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 uh, so you're just going to have to bear with, if you're public, bear with our governing body. If you're our governing body, bear with our professionals. Uh, and and we're, we're going to do the right thing. And hopefully at the end of the day, we can make them numbers work for us so that we can do. Uh, and I'm determined to have another zero tax increase next year. So, you know, I, I'll take that challenge. And we have a lot of hard work to do to do that. I get that. We had a tremendous fund balance. And, and uh, now it's becoming... I forget what the number we had, Lorraine. It was 20% or 25%. We, we picked a percentage of budget that we never want to go below with fund balance. So I'll tell you a story about 2007 when I got elected. Uh, there was no fund balance. Our, our, uh, our people at that time said, you know, we might not even make the payroll. How about that for a newly elected official? And so we swore, I committed, that that would never happen again, and it won't. Uh, so we, it, it, it swung a little bit up, 
but we made that adjustment a little bit at a time. Slow and steady wins. Uh, you know that I don't like dramatic changes because when you change too dramatically, you might have to go back. If you cut too much, you might have to go back and raise. And we never want to do that. Uh, I'll use the sewer fee, for example. Can we cut more? Maybe. Should we? No. We're going we're gonna to keep a nice, steady, uh, downward incline, uh, if we can, on our utility cost, if it's at all possible. And when it comes to our taxation, we want to keep that flat. That's the least we can do for our people. And we're committed to doing that, by the way. So it's... it's, it's it's a, it's a strategy we're developing. We're, we, the finance committee is now talking about strategic plan, strategic spending. You know, what's it look like long term? We're, we're thinking two, three, four, five years ahead of it. And so, uh, you know, some of the conversation we have would scare you if you if you didn't know. But I'm not afraid of that. And so we're going to keep being creative. We're going to keep being aggressive. Uh, you know, we're going after uh, I believe it's seven hundred fifty, eight hundred thousand dollar grant for our water company we can get that it's an 80 20 split anytime you get a, 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 a dollar and only have to pay 20 cents back that's not a bad day so we're going to continue that hopefully we get where there is no match but unfortunately them days are going away so i just want to be clear on what our goals and objectives and strategies going to be financially and that's a little bit for you too ray so uh so you need to know where we come from. the finance committee is uh is Brad Hoffercamp and Rich Chandler and myself. And, and uh, we do have some pretty serious conversations from time to time because we're very different. But at the end of the day, I believe we present a, a product to the town that keeps our taxes flat, still keeps our quality of life in a good place and still maintain our services to our, to our residents in our community. So hopefully, uh, I, I hope I helped you understand what we're going to try to do financially. And I, and I hold our, I hold uh, uh, Ray Sarinelli's group responsible to keep us on track. And, and Lorraine is the best encounter you ever had. And, and Ron knows his ins and outs with administrative stuff to keep us all out of jail. So, and I depend on the council to, to help uh, vet the stuff that we present. And that's how we're going to do business. 